Hey guys, it's Andy here. And in this video, I thought I'd just show you the computer that I use for gaming. I use this computer for games like Minecraft, Rocket League, GTA, uh, some other sort of Steam games. I'm thinking of getting uh, CSGO. And I thought I'd just show you what I have on my PC. So first of all, as you can see the case, um, I believe it's a Dead Silence blue case. Uh, it was made by Chill Blast, this computer. On the top of the case it has this uh, blue lid that you can pull off and you can add some extra fans just in here. But also the case comes with a secondary uh, lid that I can put on and it's actually a dust filter lid. But I decided to I decided to keep the blue lid on just because I thought it looks nicer and it also sort of doesn't show the dust as much because obviously this is made to catch the dust. That's just a little inside of the computer but I'll open it up from the side. Right so yeah let's take a look on the inside of my case. The inside of my computer in here. That is the inside. Right, so we'll just go through the boring stuff first. And we have a 600 watt PSU. Uh, that's up there is where the CD-ROM drive goes. Uh, I have a one terabyte SSHD uh, and just up here, this is a 250 gigabyte Samsung SSD. Uh, I can't really pull that out because there's a lot of wires going in there because I've put that one in myself so it's not done brilliantly uh, and then when you get to the good stuff here there that is my graphics card it is a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960 2GB and then that fan back there you can't really see it that well that's just the cooling uh, part of the sort of cooling system in it Another board I actually have is an Asus Z170M Plus motherboard. Uh, it's for Skylake CPUs only. The actual processor I use is the Intel Core i5 Skylake processor. Uh, 3.5 GHz, but it can be overclocked up to 4.4 GHz. But yeah, down the back there you can see the two 4 GB RAM that I have. I also have a Gigabyte expansion um, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card just here, so that helps me get a good connection. I can get it on 2.4 GHz bandwidth and 5 GHz, so that's pretty decent. Right, this is the monitor that I also bought with my gaming PC. It's a Asus 24 inch monitor, uh, it's got the frameless design. I will do it with my PC uh, so you can see what it looks like. It's 3K, so it's 2560 by 1440 pixels. So yeah, it actually has a really good resolution on it. Right, I am now going to turn on the PC. Don't worry, this isn't my sort of usual gaming setup because I do actually live at uni. So this is just my sort of quick setup at home while I'm home for like, Christmas holidays. Uh, but yeah, this is my monitor. And it should load in just a moment. This is another thing I was going to show you. Uh, this is my keyboard. It's made by Perix. It was just a pretty sort of cheapish keyboard uh, that I decided to get. Pretty sort of cheap mouse, it fits nicely in my hand. So that's pretty much the only reason I bought it. But yeah, this is my, uh, that's actually my background. Um, so yeah, this is a 3K monitor. But yeah, the one thing I do like mainly about this monitor is just the sort of frameless design. It's not, you can't properly see it in my camera because I'm just using my phone. And the iPhone 6 Plus camera isn't brilliant. Uh, as I've sort of only recently got this game from PC, uh, I haven't really started using it for editing yet, which I probably will start doing sort of in the future. Um, just get that off the screen. 
Um, but yeah, I uh, just bought uh, what is it? Sony Movie Studio Platinum. Uh, I've just purchased that. It uh, should be coming uh, on Amazon Prime tomorrow. Uh, but at the moment, for my editing videos, I use my MacBook Air. Uh, it's it's not brilliant. I just use iMovie on it just because it's pretty simple and easy to use, and I've sort of got to know how to use it. But yeah, the problem with the uh, MacBook is if I sort of do a um, use a large folder and edit it a lot. You can hear the fan going crazy, uh, and it heats up a lot. I mean, I suppose it's not really meant to be using for heavy stuff. It's sort of the MacBook Air. It's just meant to be sort of carried around to do not a lot, to be honest. But yeah, um, my Mac isn't the best for editing, uh, because I'll just bring up the information on my Mac. As you can tell here, uh, it's... Um, the MacBook Air 13 inch, it's got a 1.4 GHz Intel Core i5 processor with only 4 GB of RAM and uh, it just has the basic Intel HD graphics card. Um, so yeah, when I bought this I kind of wish now that I'd gone for the um, MacBook Pro, but oh well, I've gone for this. I'm happy with it, it's good. It's easy to carry around and everything. It's really good for uni and stuff to take into lectures. Usually I do uh, leave my gaming computer at uh, uni if I come home for weekends. So I just, pretty much the only game I have on my Mac is Minecraft. Uh, I've installed Steam, but it can't really run any of these sort of big games like uh, Rocket League, Diablo, GTA. Like, it can run Diablo, but it's as, as laggy as anything. Right, here you go. Uh, as you can see, and it's PC, uh, it's got a GeForce GTX 960 Intel Core i5-6600K CPU. It is the new generation of um, the Intel Core processors. I probably wouldn't have gone for the new one, but on Chill Blast it was the only option I was given. Uh, it's got 8 gigabytes of RAM, that's the uh, resolution, current resolution, 2560 by 1440. And obviously running Windows 10. But yeah, on here I have all of my game capture HD card all set up and everything. But yeah, um, there's not a lot else that I would talk about. But yeah, this isn't my gaming setup. Um, I could possibly do a video of how I set up at uni, but my room's quite small at uni, so there's not a lot of space at all. It's literally just all shoved down a desk. Right guys, so that is my uh, video on my gaming PC and monitor. I will leave all of the uh, specs uh, of my PC in the description and also I'll leave a link to where I got my monitor um, yeah anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video uh, sorry about the shaky camera uh, I am new to this fair play to all the vloggers out there that managed to sort of film themselves all day because I literally just for 5-10 minutes can't even keep my arms like holding this camera still I'm just yeah I I don't know why, I just have shaky hands, it's just awful. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please comment, like and subscribe. See ya!